Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. I'm going to do something today that I very rarely do, which is I'm recording this commentary immediately after playing the game. I just barely finished this game, and I've never been more excited and more furious at the same time. I'm just so emotional right now, and we'll see if that emotion really comes through on this commentary. But I, I, well, let's take a look and see exactly what got me so, so worked up here. Um, I'm playing Big Team Battle on the map Vortex. And I was really excited to get this map, actually, because it doesn't come up often. Uh, I'm not particularly fond of this map, per se. It's just that I'm, you know, I get tired of playing Exile and Ragnarok basically every single time. So it's nice to get something new. And I know that the Wraith is the power play here, so I go for the Wraith right away. That ghost gets you there very quickly. And uh, even though my shields are completely down, I do manage to start picking up some kills right off the bat. Uh, I don't get that first strike, but I do start with a double kill, push that to a triple kill. And when you start the game with a triple kill in the first 30 seconds, you know that things are going to be promising. Now, uh, there was a lot of red players over in this area. I know that they spawn on this side, and I, I could see they're being aggressive towards the race. So I wanted to back down and make sure I preserved the vehicle. Uh, you want to do this anytime you have the Scorpion, the Wraith, the Gauss Hog. Those powerful vehicles... Um, they, ha they typically have very excellent range. They can really swing the balance of the game, but they can also be vulnerable, so you want to look for one-on-one -on -one situations like I am right here. Just try to back down, preserve the vehicle, and pick people off one-on-one -on -one as best as you can that way. That's really the best best approach. And I'm able to do that very effectively here, just continuing to look for one-on-one -on -one situations and uh, just slowly chipping away. I've got uh, a killing spree here. We'll see how far I can push that, that spree up to as I continue to get those one-on-one -on -one kills. Um, now, I'm about to get hijacked here, and I want you to pay very close attention to this play because this is like an all-time incredible play. And uh, I've made a habit of doing this, and it's really saved my bacon several times. I get a double kill there in the base. Now, here I get hijacked, but watch me bust this guy. I, I pull up right to the rock. I blast him right off the front of my wraith. An incredible play. That works every time, and as long as you don't get right up next to whatever you're going to shoot, whether it's like a rock or a wall or something like that, as long as you stay just a little distance away, you won't cause too much damage to your vehicle, but you'll kill whatever player has, has hopped onto the front of your of your vehicle. Works all the time. Works with the Scorpion as well as the Wraith. I do it with both vehicles frequently. Now, I push this up to a Killing Frenzy, and the red team, I think, is just getting totally out of their minds right now. They're so, so frustrated because I'm completely owning with this Wraith here. Uh, I've got several multi-kills at this point. I think I've already got three double kills, a triple kill. Uh, I've got a Killing Frenzy at this point, and although the Wraith was uh, you know, just a few shots away from death at this point, I wanted to stick with it and see how far I could go in the Wraith. At least I wanted to get a running riot if I could. Sometimes I'll hop out of it, but this time I chose not to get that running riot. Basically, I spotted my team 15 points to start the game. And so you'd think there's no way we could lose it from there, but you, sadly you'd be mistaken. Um, you know, we're already up by like over 100 points here where it's like 290 to 180, so you'd think we should be rocking and rolling at this point. I gave my teammates that big of a lead, but unfortunately it, it wasn't quite enough by the end of the day. Now, um, I will say, you know, when I went back and checked the uh, stats at the end of the game, on the red team, so it's an 8 on 8 game type, right? There's 8 players on each side. And seven of the eight red players were killed most by Halo 4 Tutor. I mean, so basically it was a one-man show here. Um, I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but when seven of the eight opponents were killed most by you, then pretty much that's complete ownage is what that is. And unfortunately what it also shows is that there was virtually no team support, which is also very, very frustrating because there's just nothing more frustrating than, than a lack of team support. And this is why I, I started making this channel is for players who, you know, don't <laughs> help their opponents, who, you know, don't contribute meaning any meaningful way to a victory. And that's basically the definition of my entire team here. And I don't mean to bag on them. I'm not going to use names or anything. But, you know, when you have a player like me who gets 35 kills and you can't plot a win, that's just ridiculous. Look at that nice kill from the grave. Stuck him in the face right before I went down. Um, so yeah, I ended up getting 35 kills in this game, which is just absolutely monstrous And that was actually more kills than the bottom six players on my team So I personally all by myself without any help 
outscored six of my teammates on my team. So it's completely shameful, which is you can start to see why this gameplay got me so excited. I have multiple killjoys here, multiple killing sprees, several multi-kills. I'm just absolutely rocking this game. But unfortunately, uh, you know, none of my uh, teammates are contributing a whole lot. You see, I do get several assists. And what, here, I, this just, oh, I was so mad here. I had two stickies. I absolutely nail the ghost with a sticky. I nail the, the warthog with a sticky. And neither vehicles go down. I don't get a single kill. I do get a wingman and, um, you know, some vehicle destroy assists as well. But, oh, I was so upset there. And now you can see that we've lost the lead already, only halfway through the game, even though I got us off to such a good lead. And personally, I'm like the only one doing anything here. Look, they've got the wraith, and the only one that can take—I'm the only one that can take it down here. I have to come in and even take down the opposing wraith. So it can just be so frustrating when, you know, nobody—it feels like completely gross incompetence is really the only way I could describe it. Is just gross incompetence, you know, by on the part of my teammates. And you know, to say yeah, they did contribute a little bit. Certainly, they did. But when I can outscore six of them all by myself, that is ridiculous. And especially when you have a teammate on your team who's really taking down a lot of players and controlling the map and doing a lot of good things, that makes it easier for everybody else. So, I mean, I just have to say that everybody on my team really, I mean, they had a lot of advantages here because I was really uh, causing havoc throughout this gameplay, creating a lot of problems for my opponents. I was really putting a lot of shots into people, getting a lot of assists taking down the big vehicles, and yet still my teammates couldn't manage to do much. Now here I'm using kind of burst shooting with the saw, and this burst shooting method works extremely well. So anytime you grab this saw, try out this burst method, just a few quick bursts, it works extremely well. It conserves ammunition, and it takes people down very, very quickly, and uh, it kind of keeps your reticule very tight. Uh, additionally, um, if, if you anticipate grabbing the saw at any point, uh, that dexterity really comes in handy. I've already got a second killing spree here, and I've got, I really should have grabbed the fuel rod here out of my um, ordnance drop, but I'm always loath to grab uh, the fuel rod right away if I already, ha or an ordnance, if I already have a really good weapon in hand. So here you see, I go for the binary rifle, and I should have grabbed my fuel rod but I just have this habit of not liking to have two power weapons at the same time and I kind of wanted to oh fail on my armor ability there I tried to use I tried to use my um, regen field that didn't work but I don't like having two power weapons at the same time because then I feel like if I, I call down the the fuel rod cannon um, nice binary route rifle kill there very quick scope if I call, call down the fuel rod cannon and then I die then I'm not gonna have anything later on so even though, you know, it's kind of, you're kind of, I don't, I'm really not sure what the best approach is here. If you should call down that second power weapon or not, it's always, I'm always wrestle with that decision. But here I should have called it down because now uh, I get basically double teamed here in just a second. And that's going to be the death of me. But you can see we were still in this game. And I thought that if I was super aggressive and finished the game really strong, that we might have a prayer to win. And so I do call down the fuel rod gun at this point and I just start going crazy with it I become super aggressive and I am able to get several kills here even though they're the red team now is running away with this game I get a nice double kill on that warthog I come up to this ridge here take another player down I'm gonna peek up over the top of the ridge take another player down I mean I'm just going crazy being so aggressive and at this point I was like I'm not gonna lose this game there's no way I lose this game and I'm just trying to fight and claw my team back into this game, but it, alas, it doesn't happen and we lose. So I've never been more excited and more furious at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I mean, absolutely rocked it, crushed it, 35 kills. Look at this. My teammates basically, you know, look at this, four kills, five kills, eight kills, so on and so forth. Just not much help. And every, everybody else went negative on my team, which is disappointing. And like I said, when I checked out the opposing team, Every single one of them was killed most by Halo 4 Tutor. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Add the video to your favorite. Share it with your friends. I'll see you next time.